So welcome to episode two of the World Cup playthrough with England. We've won our first game. If you missed the first episode, go and check it out. It was a good game against Tunisia. Very comfortable game. We've changed a few things for episode two. Not really a few things, but I've just basically changed the time length from five minutes down to four minutes to make it a little bit shorter. Hopefully there's still a lot of action in the games. And for the second game, we play against Panama today. And we're going to keep the same squad. We had a good game. Everyone played well. Selection is tough because a lot of players did well, even the ones that came off the bench last time. But I'm going to keep it as is. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And we're going to keep going like this. Just a quick look at the table before we play. Belgium is currently on top. They've played two. They've won two. If we win today by 3-0, I think we get to go on top. So we've got to put a few past Panama today to get to first place. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more FIFA 18 World Cup videos, click the subscribe button today and the notification bell, and you won't be disappointed. So you join us at Nizhny Novgorod Stadium for England versus Panama. Now, England, the clear favourites. They've got a squad worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Panama, I'm not sure if they even do football as a profession. I heard some of these countries have players that have a, a normal daytime job and then play for their country as well. I'm not sure if Panama is one of those countries. But there's certainly a difference in the price tag of some of the players between England and Panama. So hopefully that makes a big difference today. But this is the World Cup and anything can happen. And England shouldn't come here relaxed. They need to put a few goals in. So here's Kyle Walker. Had a good game last time. Hopefully he can continue that. And the stadium does look fantastic. I love what EA did with this World Cup update. All the stadiums look good and they enhance the experience. Um, imagine playing in generic stadiums with this World Cup update. It just wouldn't have made sense and it wouldn't have looked good. Anyway, here's uh, Harry Kane. Rashford picks it up, has a volley, and it wasn't on target. Can't really see anything with the bright shadow. So bright on my screen. All I can see is like a red jersey. Anyway. Quintero down the right. It's a corner for Panama. Good start by them, you know, to get a corner this early. We have to clear it. And Kane clears it to Rashford. Rashford lays it off. There was no one running with him. Antonio wins it. Kane lays it off to Deli Alley. Antonio, down the right, Deli Alley's making a run, that's a good run, inside to Kane, Kane, I don't know what he's doing, Sterling picks it up, Barkley, on the edge of the box, the space is there, it's Ross Barkley, what a save by the keeper, it was a good shot as well, and it's going to be a corner, Rashford took some good corners last time, can he continue today? Barkley with the header. It's a goal. No, it's not. Oh, I thought it went over the defender's head. But it just wasn't on, on target. So it went out, obviously. Kane picks it up. The big red machine from last time. If you missed the last episode, Kane is the big red machine. Here's Deli Alley. Laid off to Kyle Walker. Walkers are having a bit of fun this tournament. He's been doing well. Barkley plays it to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's coming inside. He's going himself inside the box. Flicks it over to Antonio. Antonio can't get the header. And Stones wins a well done, John Stones. Here's Deli Alley to Antonio. Inside to Deli Alley. Lays it off to Barkley. Barkley's going to have a crack. Oh, I thought it took a deflection. But in the end, it was a pretty comfortable save for the keeper. Just have to try and win it here. Barkley commits a foul. Referee says play on. Can we do like a counter here? No, it's not a good pass. I should have known better. Nice little turn here. Good ball. They find an attack, good save by Butland. Panama could have scored there. Butland telling everyone to wake up. <laughs> this isn't Sunday League anymore, boys. This is the World Cup. <laughs> and uh, we have to clear it here. Sterling sort of wins it, I guess. 
Here's Harry Kane. Ref, come on, buddy. Ref. Bad challenge. Panama's doing all right. They just can't find the last pass. Here's Luke Shaw. Rashford. Have a shot, Rashford. Oh, good save by the keeper. Here's Torres. Gomez, Deli Alley. Can't win it. Stones wins it. I see Rashford, but I can't pass it. Laid off to Sterling. Sterling's coming inside. Good run by Sterling. Finesse. Good goal by Sterling. That was a beautiful finish. And we go 1 0 up. They just basically let him run with it. Like he came inside, he was charging down at him. Defenders just kept backing off, and it was a beautiful finesse into the bottom corner. Sterling, I trust him in the left wing position. He's been doing a good job. Barkley wins it, plays it up to Rashford. Harry Kane. And they cut it off there for him. It's a bad challenge, very late challenge. Barkley plays it up. And it's going to be half time. We go into the half, 1-0 up. A goal by Raheem Sterling is enough to separate us at the moment. Hopefully we can get a few more. We need to get at least two to go on top of Belgium, I think, in the group. It's a late challenge by Rashford as we start the second half. Another challenge by Antonio. It's going to be a free kick. Referee's had enough of these late challenges. Gives him a yellow card. And here's Deli Ali bringing it forward. Here's Rashford. Antonio's making a run and they cut it out. This was a decent run. Antonio wins it back. Here's Sterling. Go okay, yourself, Sterling. And, oh, of course he was going to push him off the ball. He's like double his size. <laughs> Something's gone. Panama almost was through. Here's Barkley. Plays it up to Kane. Rashford's making a run. Kane can't find him. Kane has been shut down there. Tight marking him this, this game. Of course, he scored a hat-trick last time, so everyone's become aware of Kane. We'll have to switch positions for him, I think, with Rashford. Let's make a change anyway. We're going to bring... Uh, Antonio off for Walcott, who had a good game last time. I'll switch Kane with Rashford just to see if that makes a difference with the defense. And we'll bring in Lingard again, who had a good game, I think. And we'll play him alongside Ali in center mid. And Panama makes a substitution of their own as well. So both teams making a change. Luke Shaw gets the ball. Here's Lingard. Deli Alley. Kyle Walker bringing it forward. I can't see anything with the two bright shadows there, whatever it is. Chip over the top. I don't know who's there, but it goes out. I think that was Lingard. I thought he was going to header it, but he used his left foot. He didn't really make any good contact on it. Sort of messed it up. Should have done better. Deli Ali cuts it out. Luke Shaw. Back to Ali. Kyle Walker bringing it forward. Here's Harry Kane. 1 2 maybe with Rashford. Instead, we play it to Walcott, who plays it across looking for Kane. Maybe we should have shot. We can win it back. Here's Sterling again. Oh, what are you doing, Sterling? Come on, buddy.
Here's Torres. He's taken on all the defenders, but Cole Walker, man, a beast in this World Cup tournament so far. Anyway, it's a good run. Here's Walcott. Look at the pace on him. Go yourself, Walcott. Have a shot. And it goes out. It hit the post. I don't know if the keeper got a hand to it. I guess not. Walcott, I think, hit the post and it went out. Deli Ali loses it. Now Panama's coming forward. They're not doing much with it, though. They're getting chances to come forward. They're not making the most of it. Here's Sterling. Here's Kane. Holds it up, plays it to Sterling. He's already got one goal today. And he gets a second one. Beautiful finish by Sterling. We opened him up. Kane combining with Sterling. And Sterling with his second goal of the game, which is a good thing. Maybe he can get a hat-trick. And we can get Kane on a hat-trick in game one and Sterling on a hat-trick in game two. So as you can see, a comfortable finesse finish. Nothing too challenging about that. Took his time. And it's the second goal of the tournament, I think, for Raheem Sterling. Walcott cuts it out. I think I'm preferring Walcott over Antonio. Let's see if we can get another goal here. Kane lays it off to Rashford. Rashford brings it. Oh, Kane. Lingard was running. I thought it was Kane. I can't see anything with the, the bright grass. Should have played it all the way to Sterling on the left. Anyway, we're 2-0 up. Anyway, there's no rush. Might as well have a bit of fun. Here's Walcott. I mean, Walker. Come on. What are you doing, buddy? I'm going to have to bring Jamie Vardy on. Bad challenge. Panama takes a shot. Oh, it's taken a deflection. I thought it snuck under the keeper's hands and went in. That was a close one. Let's quickly put Vardy on for the last few minutes. We'll take Kane off. And do we have another change? Henderson, maybe? No, we're out. So let's finish the last five minutes. Go home with three points. They brought their keeper up as well. And Butland collects. We have to find someone here. There's no one to really pass it to. Lay it off. Oh, here we go. Jamie Vardy's through. Jamie Vardy's through. He's going to have a shot. And he's going to score. Jamie Vardy with his second touch of the game. And the keeper came out though. So it was pretty easy for us. And uh, yeah, good finish. I mean, he still had a lot to do. He still had to get the ball off the defender there. We'll sort of shield it away from him. And then he had to shoot with his left foot, which isn't his predominant foot. And it was a good finish with his left foot. And keeper just took too long to get back, man. He didn't have enough pace on him. And a very controlled finish by Vardy. He would have uh, made the front papers if he missed that one, I think. So, 3-0 up, which means we're probably topping the group at the moment going into the Belgium game. And a very comfortable game against Tunisia and Panama today as well. England looking very strong with the same lineup. Every player is playing good. No complaints for any of them. And I think that's a free kick. So can Panama grab a goal back? Maybe for some pride. You never know with these free kicks. It goes over the wall. goes over the goal too. And it's going to be the last kick of the game, I think. This goal kick. 10 seconds left, Butland taking his time, booted up, and the referee should blow for the final whistle, maybe he wants to see another goal, and that's it, another three points, this time against Panama, three goals today, two from Sterling, one from Vardy, the fans are happy, and uh, we go home again pretty comfortable, so Raheem Sterling finishes with a match rating of 10, doesn't get much better than that. And England had 10 shots today. We had 6 on target, 54% possession. So Panama had 2 shots. Didn't really do much. And I think the real test is going to be against Belgium in the next game. So we do go on top of the table. Let's take a quick look before we end the episode. England on top. Goal difference of 7. We haven't conceded 1 goal yet, which is good. And uh, Belgium have conceded the 1, which means they have a goal difference of 6. Panama, Tunisia, both on 0 points. They're not having a good tournament. I think they're out by now. Yep. And it's just going to be a matter of who tops the group out of Belgium and us. So if we draw or beat them, we go on top. And if we lose, obviously, they go on top. So it'll be a good game. Make sure you come back and tune in. Thank you for tuning in for the second episode, though. 
I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you are enjoying it. Please leave a big thumbs up. It always helps the channel. And I'll see you next time. If you want to watch another FIFA 18 World Cup video, click the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, click the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.